be a better person at a booth so you can eventually own one yourself. What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here with kind of a how-to slash tutorial slash, uh, let's call it the five steps to becoming a better booth rep uh, for a company. Something along those lines. I'm sure it'll be different once I post a video. But this is something that I've been really wanting to talk about for the last, I know, at least six months to a year. Uh, I, being in the industry for 35 years, I've been working out for 35 years. I've been actually participating in, you know, the competitions and the events and the booths and the sales and the supplements and the t-shirts and the lifting gear, uh, for the last 23 years when I opened up my gym after I was in the army for 10 years before I got into the industry and, you know, having my own supplement line, being a YouTuber for nine years, eight years, I don't know how long it is now since 09, so eight or nine years, uh, you know, social media wise, et cetera. It really is something, and I'm one of the older YouTubers. And I, know, there, I heard a kid the other day say, I'm one of the oldest ones, and he was like 30-something. I, I was there 20-something years ago. So being the uh, one of the older, and I know there's people out there that are my age or older, but in this industry and in this business, I'm more on the business side of things. I'm not trying to promote myself, and I'm not trying to push who I am on people. I did that years ago before social media even started. Uh, now I'm more along the lines of sitting back, realizing the older I get, the dumber I am. There's a lot more that I need to learn. And I like to learn from walking up to each in the individual booths and engaging in conversations with the representatives, looking at the products, seeing what their display looks like, seeing how they're acting. And here's the five things that I think can help you as a booth rep, as a demo rep, as a salesperson, as an owner, as a liaison of these companies. Okay. And I know there's a lot of you out there that have already got it figured out. I'm not going to name names, but there's a lot of companies out there that have got the monopoly on this industry. There's a lot of you young entrepreneurs and young supplement companies and, and businesses that are trying to get your foot in the door and trying to get started. And you, you have too many jobs, so you're still trying to work really hard at this. And you're hiring or you're getting your best friend or an acquaintance to work at your booth. And you're not seeing this because you don't have time to work the booth because you're working your day job. You guys have got to get together and figure it out, okay? These big, ginormous companies have got it figured out. Most of them do. And there's still some some... Uh, stragglers and still some tumbleweeds that fly through there that probably should be doing a better job. Uh, and I'm not going to, again, I'm not naming names. I'm just saying over uh, the last 20 something years I've been going to these events, this is what I've surmised. There's five very important points that I want to make real quick. And now I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk. These are the five points real quick. Number one, this, let's say this is my cell phone. This is actually my wallet, but let's say this is my cell phone. If you walk up to a booth or, you, or you're beelining to a booth that's 20 to 30 feet away from you and you, you see this, a guy's or a girl's head's down and, you know, they're working their thumbs. I mean, they're just going to town. I don't see how you guys type so fast. My kids do this. But me, I'm like this. You know, I'll do uh, T-H-E space V, my backspace B, backspace, damn it. And then, you know, I'm typing. So if I'm on my cell phone and I'm working for a company, I'm taking not seconds but hours from their time. So... Put the damn cell phone away. When you get up to the booth, you should have already messaged on your social media that you're going to be at that booth that day because you're taking your selfies in your hotel room. Everybody loves those hotel mirror selfies because the lighting is amazing, right? And the mirror looks different. I think they put better looking mirrors in bodybuilders' rooms, bodybuilders rooms so they'll attract more people to those hotels. I, I know I'm, I'm chasing a squirrel. Here we go. Back to the point of taking the selfies. Get... Your social media posted the day before, the week before, the month before, etc. So everybody knows you're going to be at booth 101 for ABC Supplement Company. Okay, they know that. Once you get there, if you must take a selfie uh, and take a couple pictures and do the, and whatnot, do that before you get behind the booth. Because once you step behind the booth, you're in the driver's seat. You've already started the car. You put it in drive. You get your foot off the brake on the gas, and you're ready to drive. If you're back there driving, texting, you're going to run over somebody. So put your cell phones up when you get behind that booth. That's rule number one. Nobody wants to walk up to a booth and try to buy a product and you're not getting recognized that you're there, okay? That's rule number one. Rule number two, make sure no matter what kind of sleep that you did not get, because I know you kids, you go out partying all night long in Vegas and then expect to sit at a booth all day long. You got red eyes, your hair looks like crap, your hat's crooked, and that's the way the style is sometimes, but not me. Man, my hair's a mess. I need a haircut. Your, your clothing doesn't match, and I know that's a style too, but you can tell if somebody really didn't get a good night's rest. Don't bring your personal life into your business, okay? You're not being paid to be a drunk. You're not being paid to be an alcoholic. You're not being paid to be a night owl. You're being paid to sit at that booth to sell the protein powders and the 
T-shirts and, and the weight belts. You're there to represent that company. So get your rest. Party if you want to. I'm not telling you can't, but don't party so hard that you're not representing that company because they flew you there, they paid for your hotel room, and they're paying you to sit at their booth and represent that company. If you can't represent that company to, company well, be ready to be fired, okay? So your appearance is very important. Fix your hair. Get your makeup done right. And girls, I know, you, you already know how to get all this stuff done. Guys, I don't think anybody's wearing makeup as guys. But if you do, make sure your makeup's right too, guys. Make sure that your shirt looks good. Make sure that your pants are on right. Make sure that you're not wearing matching, you know, unmatching things that are not becoming of what you're representing the booth. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Shave, comb your hair, brush your teeth, and, and look accordingly. Rule number three. This is a very important rule. They're all on the top, but this is just how I wrote them down. Make eye contact with every single person that's walking by because once you know that's a tractor beam, okay? Once you make eye contact, that person either can't look away or they're genuinely in, 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 uh, engaged or interested in what you're about to say. Make sure it's something smart, okay? Don't say, uh, you're at the venue, huh? <laughs> you know, then you kind of sound stupid or like, yeah, stupid. See you later. Make sure that you have something genuine to say like, hey, good morning, how are you? You know, or if they look tired, don't say, man, you look like crap. Say, man, how you doing, brother? You know, just make sure that what you're saying is uplifting. You know, don't just talk to the people that you're flirting with too, okay? Yes, you're sitting at that booth because you're a good looking guy or girl. Nine times out of 10, I see this all the time. You know, the girls only talk to the guys. The guys only talk to the girls. You guys stop flirting and start selling. Stop flirting and start selling. Engage in every single person. Once you lock eyes with that person, whether it be an old uh, man that can't barely even walk or a young person that looks like that they just walked into a, a, a toy store, make eye contact. Be genuine. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Okay, the ball's in your court. How you serve it up is up to you. What can we help you with? Not I, because you represent a company. What can we help you with today? And they say, well, nine times out of 10, they're going to look down at what you've got because they just looked at you. You made eye contact. You're reeling them in with your tractor beam. And they're going to say, well, I was kind of looking for a good protein. What do you have? You first need to not tell them that your protein is the best protein. You need to ask them, what is it you're looking for in a protein? If they say, well, I really want high protein and low carbs, bingo, if you have that, yes, sir, we do have that. And today we're offering it in chocolate and vanilla. And we actually have a sample. Would you like to try it? While they try the sample, you start telling them about the product, okay? And that's another point that I'll get to shortly, but engage. Okay, here's another example. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Can we help you today? Yeah, sure. I'm looking for, and somebody else walks up. Don't ignore that other person. Nine times out of 10, I'm going to say that a thousand times. Most of the time, there's more than one of you, okay? If there's another booth representative that has his or her cell phone in hand, first off, knock it out of their hand. <laughs> Not really, but just say, hey, Johnny, can you help this young lady real quick? This person's going to see that you're genuinely interested in helping everybody, and that's going to be a sell for you. That's going to be a plus. It may not be a sell, but it'll be a plus for you because they go, okay, wow, this guy's really into customer service, or this girl's really into customer service. So Johnny stands up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you got two conversations going on. Once you start figuring out what this person is looking for, which is a huge, huge point, conversation, which is actually the fourth point, engage in conversation, ask them what you can do for them. Please, by all means, when they say, well, uh, I really don't know what I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for a pre-workout. By all means, do not say, ah, we don't have pre-workouts uh, or our pre-workout sold out or uh, we have a pre-workout, but it's not here, but you can find one at booth number one. Don't direct people away from your booth. Always try to offer either what you do not have that you can get for them in the next few minutes or uh, an online sale that you can make immediately. Hey, pull out your cell phone. This is when you pull out your cell phone. That's when you let them pull out their cell phone. Hey, we've sold out, but I'm going to tell you where you can find it online at. Do you mind pulling out your cell phone? Go to www.abcsupplements.com. There you go. This is all you have to do. Click on that. If you're ready to buy, click here. It's very simple. Is there anything else I can help you with? Show them and direct them of a product that you do not have or you've sold out how to buy it immediately. Okay. Walk them through there. That way you make a sale for that company. Okay. So point one, get rid of your cell phones. Point two, make sure you have a good appearance. 
Point three, make eye contact. We've already talked about that. Point four, have a conversation asking them how we, not I, but how we can help you today because we're part of a team. We're part of ABC Supplement Company. We want to help you. And the last and most important part of this topic, and there's a thousand more that we can talk about, but we're running into 10 minutes now and I want to close out, is know what's in the bottle, okay? Make sure before you sign a contract with a company that you like the product, okay? Don't just be there for a paycheck. If you are there for just a paycheck, and I've done that before, back long, 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 long time ago, still know what's in the bottle, okay? Because there's going to be kids, especially nowadays, they know more than you do. And there's a lot of times to where they applied for that company that you're working for, and you've already filled that position, and now they're pissed. I've seen this happen. They walk up, hey, uh, so tell me about your pre-workout. Uh, what's it got in it? And if you're like, well, it's delicious and it tastes good and it uh, it smells good. Those are three ignorant responses. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've heard it before, but if you're a booth babe or a booth dude, okay, you not only need to look the part, you need to be the part. So study your products. You don't have to have a PhD. You don't have to have a, a medical science uh, rocket scientist degree to know what's in the product. Okay, you can look at it right there on the spot. Well, we've got 24 grams of protein. We've got, you know, uh, three grams of this. We've got six grams of that and this and that and the other. And you don't, again, have to be able to quote it, you know, per uh, for what you've memorized, but know that it's a high protein product. Know that it's a high carbohydrate product. Know that there's a lot of amino acids in the product. And they're like, okay, talk to me about your pre-workout. My pre-workout is extremely high stem, so depending on if you're, you know, you react well to stem or if you need more stimulation, we've got uh, so many milligrams of caffeine, there's so many milligrams of this, there's a couple of milligrams of that, and uh, this, we have it in this flavor and that flavor, and as a matter of fact, we have a sample. Would you like to try it? Once they start trying a sample, engage in conversation with them again. Pretty good, right, or really good, right. I love this, I take this myself, et cetera, et cetera. Engage in that, but know your product. Once again, I'm gonna go with these five rules that will help you have a better booth. Owners of companies, you gotta know this too, okay? And I've seen this, and I'm saying, not these big owners, but these brand new owners that get their friends to work the booths that don't have any clue what they're doing, they show up hungover, or they still smell like they were drinking last night, uh, and they don't know the product, you're killing yourself. Take a day off, work your own booth, okay? Here we go. First and foremost, get rid of your cell phones, okay? That is a cell killer. Cell phones are cell, S-A-L-E, killers. C-E-L-L -L phones, S-A-L-E. See, I'm not that smart. It took me a long time to figure that out. Appearance, make sure you look good. I feel like I'm looking pretty suave today. I would sit at a booth like this. White t-shirt, got white stripes in the plaid. I got a white hat, and it's got blue and red. I may be colorblind. The blue doesn't match the blue, but it's still okay. It's <laughs> I'm going to get away from me back to this. Eye contact. Make sure that you always have eye contact. And along with the eye contact, smile. I don't care if you just broke up with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Somebody posted a picture of, of your girlfriend with somebody else's boyfriend or whatever. Wear your feelings elsewhere. You're being paid to be a representative. I'm not going to walk up to, and I'm telling you, nobody cares. I don't care. I'm not going to walk up to a booth and go, man, I can't wait to get this protein. I'm ran out. I, I'm, I'm ready to buy. All right. What's the matter? Man, my boyfriend just posted a picture. Oh, really? Did he? No. What else did he do? Nobody cares. <laughs> Don't act like you had a bad day. Smile. Turn the frown upside down. Don't gripe about it. Grab a broom and sweep it up. My grandpa always used to tell me that. Nobody cares. So act the part. You know, fake it till you make it. I know that's a lie and I know that's wrong. And there's everybody in the social media. I'm 100% real. And if I'm feeling bad, you're going to know it. Well, you're going to lose a cell and you're going to lose a job. So, okay, be your personal self at your personal time. Work for the company that you're working for. Okay, appearance, eye contact, conversation, engage, okay? Make it all about them. Make it all about them. Nobody cares that you just won the 19 or 2000, whatever year we're in, 2017 best shoe tying event ever, okay? They don't want to know about that. They're there for you to engage with them. They're there for your product. They don't care who you are unless you're a booth personality that they're there to meet you. Then that's a different story. That's all I got. Five points to become a better booth representative, to have a better booth. We'll figure out what the name of the title of the video will be soon enough. And you're already watching it. Thank you so much for watching it. If this video was helpful, please leave a comment in the comment section below. 
please don't forget to like the video and please share this video with somebody that you think needs to hear this, not in order to create a controversy, but to help because we're here for safe and positive intensity. Until next time, Intensity Rules Train Hardcore. Be a better person at a booth so you can eventually own one yourself. And we'll see you next video.